My unkind friend. Is that how friendship is? May God keep safe, Pharaoh Akhenaten. I was carrying out the ruler's orders. What ruler? God has given you this responsibility, not me. He is the real ruler. And he has sent you to save the Egyptian people. How is our kind in a ruse? Well, thank you, Excellency. Welcome. Interestingly, Excellency Yusarsi still remembers old friends. I never forget. And I am here not to be forgotten. I have come to give report of the affairs in the country. And surely they are about building silos and storing wheat. Or perhaps about the needy and the farmers. Or the priests and their recalcitrants. A servant has nothing to do except that which he is ordered. Are these not important matters? Perhaps we can leave Egypt's affairs for later. Because we have other plans for you today. But I must tell you about building the silos, storing the wheat, and the priest's plots. I am positive you can manage all the affairs. And the priests and their plots. We can deal with them later. You devised plans for Amon and his temple's priests, and Pharaoh Akhenaten and I for you. Ah, uh, do not try to guess. We have decided to end your lonely days as a bachelor. So, that is it. I have not yet thought about marriage. <sighs> May I suggest, then, that you think about it right now? Of Asenath, daughter of Kamosis, a monotheist priest, the high priest in Aten Temple. She is a decent, beautiful girl. That is why I was summoned from Memphis, then. Go to see the high priest, Eminence Kamosis, at Aten Temple, and meet his daughter, Asenath. Immediately. Why not? Asenath is both beautiful and a monotheist. Yes. You must marry as soon as possible. This is an order, and therefore must be carried out. <laughs> of course, Your Highness. Certainly. Yusarsif, my lady. I willingly gave my youth to Yusarsif. I wish I could give him my life. My pain is that he doesn't know how I suffer. Because 
because of his separation. I wish he did. How I wish he did. I am lost.
Doctor's deep sorrow in your face last night. What was the reason? Separation from my father. I wish he were here. I've been separated from him for almost 30 years, and my soul wants to fly to him at every moment. Where is he? Why don't you visit him? Or bring him here? We are from Canaan. It's a month away. Many times I've wanted to go to him, or to inform him how I am. But it is not the right time yet. The Egyptian people still need me. They are still in danger. Starvation is threatening the Egyptian bodies and souls, and I haven't yet done anything for them. I fear that by tending to my father and family, I failed to do my duty here, and my mission remains unfinished. But after all, they are your father and family. They must be beside you. They will one day come to Egypt, but until then I must endure separation. I am worried that if I inform my father of my situation, he will find out the truth and curse my brothers. Particularly as the children of Israel are not remorseful yet. As long as God wills this separation, I will be patient. You said children of Israel. Israel is the title of my father, Prophet Jacob. My brothers and I are called children of Israel. Seemingly the prophet of God was hurt by his brothers. And the prophet Jacob does not know this. May I ask the reason for this? In time. You men. I know that you keep secrets in your hearts, that you are reluctant to divulge. Forgive me for my indiscreet question. All secrets are revealed one day. One day you will know everything. Many years ago, I told you, one of the temple sorcerers predicted that Yusarsif would imperil your future and your faith. you to forget you, Sarsif. I told you so many times, but you didn't listen. Oh. You wasted your whole life on you, Sarsif. But what did you gain? Leave this destruction love forget you shall see move on but please think of yourself you, you must look after my sore <laughs> How will I endure this calamity? She was my maid servant, my companion, my mother. Who can I confide in now? Please calm down, my lady. You can't leave me, my confidant. How can you leave me, Karimama? Karimama! Be patient, my lady. Be patient. It is 
not the pain of separation from you, so see me now. Now I have to bear the pain of carrying Mama's death. Where are you, gods? Are you more dead than Kari Mama? Why are you in her just watching my sadness? How oh, will I be able to bear it? She was always with me like a shadow. Go now and prepare her coffin. She guarded me when I was asleep. Honey, Mama, now you sleep peacefully. You will not hear Zelenka's insults anymore. You will not be sad for Zelenka anymore. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> Whose body is it? Gary Mama. Who are Gary Mama? How sad. She was the head of Zuleika's servants. She had so much dignity. There's no one in the palace? I don't think so. Now's our chance. Let's go. <laughs> There's no one in the palace. You return.
Is it Potiphar's palace? Or the ghosts? I don't think we should tell her yet. It will just add to her sadness. But if she finds out later, I don't know. She might suspect us. What's the matter? Why are you standing here? We have bad news, my lady. Yes, something bad has happened. The palace was robbed. Well, I'm not surprised. What did they take? On our way back, we saw two youths leaving the palace. We didn't know them. They were probably loiterers. It was too late. We couldn't do anything about it. One of us should have stayed in the palace. Yes. We can't all leave. For 
what do I need gold and jewelry? For whom do I dress up? For you, Sarsif? Why don't you help me? Aren't you Amon, the great god of Egyptians? Am I not the goddess of your temple? Am I not your wife? How long will you watch and do nothing? Someone help me! Why only silence? Why only sorrow? You source of separation. And the death of Karimama. The loss of my youth. Now the loss of my wealth. Help me, Amon. <laughs> Calm down, my lady. It, prophet of God? I dreamt of the same old woman. She was asking for help. But I don't know who she is. I don't know how to find her. The prophet of God knows the secrets of dreams. Could it be possible that you are not meant to see her face or know who she is? The woman that asked for help, and she reached out her hand to me. If she were in need of you, God would guide you to her. Who is the needy woman? Where is she from? Which town? Should I look for her? Lord, I fear you consider my unawareness, ignorance, and punish me for it. I don't think he has eaten a full meal. 
since he became governor. He fears that there are people hungrier than him, and that if he is full, he will forget their hunger. My lady, what is it? Your Excellency. What is it? Is it time? Your Excellency, call the midwife. Patient, my lady. Soon the midwife will be here. Uh, I sent Malak for the midwife. How is Asanath? She is in a lot of pain. The midwife will be here soon. Prepare some water. Greetings to you. Do not worry, Excellency, you are safe. Trust me. Where is Lady Asana? Come with me. Baby daughter. She's beautiful, just like her parents. How is Asanath? Is she all right? Oh, very well. An auspicious arrival. Excellency Joseph. I've noticed that bead now several times. I have witnessed your calm after touching it. What is it? The name of the promised is written on it. The promised? The one who completes the efforts of all prophets and realizes the dream of all messengers of God. I wish my father 
were here. To see the birth of my first child. I don't need you to shepherd the sheep, father. Will you not stay in the hut? The long distance and the hot sun, are you not bothered? No, son. Seeing the manifestations of God's beauty and the beauty of nature soothes my sorrows. Today, you appear happy. Yes, I am. But I don't know why. I think Joseph must be happy today. meaning causing to forget. You came, and I forgot all my sorrows. Invite everyone. Invite all the needy in Memphis on the auspicious birth of my daughter. I'm Tiamani, my lady. I can't see well today. Everything appears blurry. It's because you cry so much. Why do you cry so much? It will both damage your eyes and wither your face, my lady. Think of yourself a little. Things. Crying calms my sorrows. If I didn't cry, I'd go crazy. What's the matter? My lady, where are you going? Tiamani, would you accompany me to the pier? I want to ask Rodaman if he knows anything of you, Sarsif. I can neither stop you from going, nor leave you alone, my lady. So I will have to accompany you. Greetings, Lady Zaleika. Do you know where we can find Radaman? In Syria. He went with Commander Haramhop. They have gone to stop the invasion of the Hittites. Do you know when he will return? No, my lady, no one knows. Get up, my lady. It isn't proper for you to sit here. People know you, my lady. Are you afraid I'll fall into disrepute? What reputation do I have left? My scandal has always been the talk of the whole town. Zoleka is a crazy, lovesick woman. 
If we gave her news of Yuzasif, she would reward us handsomely. We must stay alert and find out when Yuzasif is to return to Thebes. Poor Zuleika. It's hard to believe the most beautiful woman in Egypt now looks like that. Her love for you, Zarsif, did that to her. Does she know you, Zarsif, is married? Shh. I hope she never discovers that. Or she'll grieve to death. Maybe she already knows. <laughs> it feigns indifference. If she knew how to be indifferent, she wouldn't have ended up in misery. Attention. Be ready. How is the competent officer of the Pharaoh's palace? Very well. Thank you, Excellency. Follow me. What is the reason Excellency Yuzarsif has come to the palace unexpectedly? You will find out. Bring Inarus and the palace cook to me. Call Inarus and the palace cook. Yes, sir. Light the torches. Hurry, soldier. Light all the torches. If you will allow, I will wake up Pharaoh Akhenaten. No need. He will awake by himself. Did he say why he wanted to see us? No, he just said hurry. Greetings, Greetings to, the to the governor, governor of, of Egypt, Egypt. Excellency Excellen Yuzarsif. God's greetings to you. How many times have I told you not to bow to me? Will you not stop this nonsense unless I have you lashed? Yes, Excellency. It won't happen again. Prepare some good food and sorbet for the Pharaoh. At this At hour? This hour? Yes. The Pharaoh will be hungry in a few minutes and ask for food. This is unprecedented. Is His Excellency quite certain that... Do not that... doubt it. If Excellency Yuzasif says the Pharaoh will be hungry, he will be. And hurry. We don't have much time. Call the advisor and other palace residents. I want everybody present. I have honey and date juice and sorbet ready. Half of last night's dinner is ready. But will it be enough with some fruit? That's good. That's good. The Pharaoh won't be expecting more than that. That's the Pharaoh with an important order. What an untimely hunger. It's never happened before. You had food before going to bed. What if you are ill? Shall I call Physician Senua? No. No need. I'm just hungry. All I need is something to eat. Ugh. Greetings to the wise pharaoh of Egypt and Lady Nefertiti. What is the governor doing here? When did you arrive? Is the pharaoh hungry? I'm starving to death. How did you know? How did you know? Tonight begins the seven-year famine. Its sign is the unexpected hunger of the Pharaoh of Egypt. How did you know this? I thought that the governor was in Memphis. How did you come such a long way so quickly? I will tell you later. Would the Pharaoh like some food? It seems nothing is unknown to you. You've thought of everything. <laughs> T 
Tonight is the beginning of the seven-year famine in Egypt. As of tomorrow, the people must start economizing. I have come to give you the news. Do whatever you think is necessary. We pray to God Almighty to help us endure the hardships of the famine in the best way possible. It's very strange, Excellency. But I feel hungry as well. The people, will they feel hungry as we do? The way we feel now? How will you break the news to the people? People will find out by the dryness of soil, the lack of rain, and the order to stop cultivation. They will find out. Tell the farmers who bring wheat to keep only their annual amount of food. There is no need to sow seeds. Announce in the city there will be no rain this year. And because of this, tell the people not to sow any seeds. Tell the agents to find out the exact number of poor and the wealthy in every town. I know they are not equal. We need to know which and how many people will need to receive free wheat during the famine, and how many people must pay for it. To which people we must give, and from which people we must take.